you're gonna fail. It's okay, okay? You're gonna fail. And I'm not talking about the tests. It's one thing, I'm talking about to your knees, your skin, bloody, fail. And that's okay, because you know what? You know down deep inside of all of you. That's how you learn. You need to be motivated by failure. How'd you learn how to walk? Or you, you crawled, then you fell down, busted your tooth, got some blood in your mouth, get up and you walk, right? Self-directed. We try so hard in our lives to fit in. We try to fit into certain groups, certain frats, certain sororities, you know, among certain friends, yet the people we idolize are most are the ones that stand out. But when you're prepared, there is no fear. There is no fear of failure, okay? Because even if you've walked out of something and you feel like you failed at it, your preparation is so strong that you're gonna take that failure and turn it into the outcome you desire. And most people stop at failure, okay? We've all failed at things. I'm gonna continue to fail at stuff, right? It's the most powerful tool you can use, but it all depends on how you use it. In the hands of an individual, it can do unbelievable damage. In the hands of a professional, of a doctor, it saves lives. So it's the same thing with failure. It's how you use it. It's that drive inside of you, okay? It's what we talk about, the dark side. The dark side is filled with failure, but it's the fuel that burns you like something that's never burned inside you before. If you constantly remind yourself after every defeat, after every setback, Every time you get knocked down, I've got a saying, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. See, a lot of people, because of failure, they stop, they stop believing. Let me share something with you. You will fail your way to success. Yes, eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. You will fail your way to success. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you that you can't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. You will fail your way to success. You don't make excuses for the failure, you grieve it. You feel the pain. You don't brush it off, you don't downplay it. You feel the pain and you don't rush to feel better. Now, listen, this is the principle of life I'm about to tell you. To get past it, you gotta go through it. That's true in so many areas, but it's particularly true with failure. To get past your failure, that failure in your life, you gotta go through it. You can't go around your failure, you can't go over your failure, you can't go under your failure, you can't ignore your failure. You need to grieve the failure. You need to feel the pain. Now we don't like feeling bad, but grief is a good thing. Grief is the way we get through the failure and grief is the way we learn the lessons so often, we want to just, when we fail, we want to just forget it, push it aside, stuff our emotions, and then immediately go to the next thing. When you stuff your emotions, when you swallow your emotions, your stomach keeps score. It's kind of like, what if you took a can of Coke and you shook it up for a long time and then you put it in the freezer? What's going to happen to it? It's going to explode eventually. It's going to come out sideways. And this happens in your life when you don't deal with your emotions properly. This is why sometimes six months after failure, a marriage falls apart. Or six months after somebody gets laid off work, there's another problem. There's a physical health problem, things like this. Because you've shaken up the can and you've got all these emotions feeling inside of shame and regret and fear and, and, and insecurity and all the things that come with failure and you're not dealing with them. And so you shake it up and you say, we're just gonna put this in the refrigerator, try to forget about it, and we're gonna freeze it. And it's gonna explode and it's gonna come out sideways in an affair or in uh, wrong behavior or an impulsivity or an addiction or all kinds of other things. I have seen this thousands of times in people's lives. You don't minimize it, you don't rush to feel better. To get past your failure, you've gotta go through the failure.